This is Good morning everyone. The sun's just uh, peeking up over the fence here at the hotel we stayed at last night and we're getting ready to start the Arkansas Transamerica Trail portion and we'll start out here in West Helena and be heading toward BB Arkansas today. As we headed out on the Transamerica Trail this morning we had no idea what was in store for us. We didn't realize that the gravel roads in this section we're not going to be necessarily hard packed with loose gravel on top. The gravel was often deep in many locations and it just made for an exhausting ride. I see a couple other adventure bikes, but I think you're the first like tat riders I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, I got really excited. I was like, oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. Well, anyway, I'll let you guys get to it. Just, I had to say hi. Oh, yeah. How fun was that to bump into a fellow adventure rider riding the Transamerica Trail? This young fella uh, just lifted our spirits because it was fun to see that somebody else was out there. He also had a brand new Tenere 700 Yamaha. It's a pretty cool bike. This big dual four-wheel drive tractor should give you an idea of what the day's ride's going to be like. Long, straight, agricultural sections. Here we got onto a dirt road, but I'll tell you what, it was almost preferable to the gravel roads. At least the dirt was hard packed since it wasn't wet. This section also included another levee ride. It was a pretty cool ride, but boy, the gravel on that particular road was just brutal.
go on before he comes back. Yeah. Boy, what a treat to see this crop duster going through the fields. It's just absolutely amazing to watch these guys fly. I've seen them where they just barely missed the power lines. And even one time I saw one crazy pilot fly right underneath some power lines as he was doing a field. It just amazes me at the skill that they have to have to fly uh, low and slow with a load of liquid. Pretty crazy. I've had a fascination with flying since I was a kid. When I was just a lad, probably about 10 years old, uh, one of our church members was out flying and he gave me a ride or was giving rides for like $3 uh, ride and he actually let me fly the plane. It was just an experience I'll never forget. We did go through some wooded sections and they were a yeah, nice surprise uh, with all the agricultural land to go through some small tracks of woods. Those were always really nice and uh, with the shade made it a little bit cooler. As we approached BB, our destination for the day, things started to get a little bit more wooded and a little bit hillier. Here we are rolling in to BB, Arkansas. But because we got there at a pretty decent time in the afternoon, we decided to roll right on through BB and continue on the Transamerica Trail and then circle back to BB for our stay for the evening. What a goofball she is sometimes. Uh, Mike, I think you took a wrong turn here. We got into a spot where it was just dry away, so we had to turn around. There was a section right in this location where a road we were supposed to go down was gated. And I don't know if the road was on private property or not, uh, but out of respect for the landowner, I decided not to go through the gate. And so we took an alternate route around.
Eureka, we're back in the hills again. Wow, this was a pretty swanky uh, homestead here. We went by this little place here with a ramp and a big ball out in the yard across from a community park. Here it is as we went by it the, the first time through. I'm not sure what they're jumping off that ramp, but some kind of stunts are going on. Wow, what a day. We started out with just absolutely brutal roads. Um, they were uh, gravel roads for probably over 100 miles. Uh, he did a really good job of taking uh, back roads for the Trans-America Trail here. But they had anywhere from about three quarter inch up to about probably two inch uh, gravel rocks, pebbles. And so it was like riding on a table full of about two, three inch deep uh, marbles on it. Uh, your bike was just all over the place. We tried to keep speed up and it was just kind of a miserable ride. And then the terrain was just all flat uh, farmland, uh, you know, uh, nothing really um, geographically uh, of note uh, to keep your interest. So after a while, we were just getting tuckered of uh, fighting the graveled roads. So we adopted uh, kind of an on and off uh, routine. We'd go around some of the gravel roads and do some pavement for a while then get back on the gravel and we kept doing that. But the closer we got to BB where we were tonight, oh the terrain just changed uh, completely. We started getting back into some hill country. Uh, the gravel roads were hard pack and uh, we could get down the gravel roads. So it worked out really nice. So our end of day turned out really good. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give it the big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.